up beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Emily Marsala and today I am going to be filming a how my WW works I've had quite a few people ask me um, how my WW works how much it is um, just general questions so I thought that this would be a good idea to make this video so I have something to refer people to when they are curious are wanting to get started so for to begin, um, if you are not familiar with my channel, welcome, first of all. And um, a little backstory, I have lost 72 pounds since having my son who is almost 10 months old, which I can't believe that went so fast. But I have lost 72 pounds. I am on the blue plan of my WW, but I always post all points plans on my channel. The reason why I chose WW is because I wanted something that was sustainable for my lifestyle. I am a new mom, I am a wife uh, just recently, and I wanted something that was going to be very family friendly and be able to accommodate everybody in this household. With that being said, um, there are some recipes and meals that my husband is not a fan of or not interested in, but I always keep some sort of um, something on the back burner as far as frozen pizza or something that he can um, have instead. As far as the point system, it is based off of calories, sugar, protein, and saturated fat. So um, the higher the saturated fat and sugar, the higher the points will be, the higher the protein, the lower it kind of balances out um, with those four factors. Points value that they determine for you when you sign up is based off of your weight, your gender, your age, and I believe your height. Don't quote me on that though. Um, I personally get 23 points a day. When I started this post, right after um, I had my son, I had 28 points a day. I received 35 weekly points, which I will go into a detail here shortly. Um, and when I started, I had 42. So the, he the heavier you are, the more uh, points they will give you. And as you lose your weight, they will slowly take those away from you. The lowest you can go is 23 points, which is what I am at right now. But you also have um, fruits and vegetables are zero points with the exception of corn on the green plan and avocado, I think, on all plans. Don't quote me on that for the purple. I'm not on the purple plan. Um, so it might be zero, but it's not for the blue and the green. Well, obviously there's three different plans. There's the green plan, the blue plan, and the purple plan. I am currently on the blue plan, which is also um, the same as the previous Weight Watchers Freestyle before they went to my WW. Um, so the green plan, you receive 30 points a day. Well, depending on your weight, obviously, but if I were to do green, I would receive 30 points a day blue I received 23 and the purple I would receive 16. Um, with the green plan points are based off of everything but fruits and vegetables. When you go to the blue plan turkey, chicken, eggs, lentils, corn, and I think that might be it, are all zero, oh shellfish are all zero points and then you're on the purple plan with 16 points a day um, all of those are also zero points as well as whole wheat pasta, oatmeal, potatoes, and th I think there's some other ones in there. So um, obviously the less points you have on um, the plan, the more zero points you have available. I don't personally see myself using the purple plan, but never say never. Um, once I'm in maintenance or meet my goal, it might be something that I might dip my toes in, but currently I'm very happy on the blue plan. I did switch to green for um, a short period of time when COVID first started just because I found myself emotionally eating. I had a lot going on at the time and I switched over to green for a few weeks just so I had a little more cushion. So it is nice to have that option. You can switch at any time. So especially during the holidays, green is a good choice because you have 30 points instead of 23. So you can dabble into those treats a little bit more. Very familiar with Weight Watchers. So I've been on and off of it for 10 years. Um, I did it when I was in high school. I did it when I was in college to keep in shape. I did it once I got engaged. Um, sorry, my mailman's walking by. I did it when I got engaged and then I actually ended up getting pregnant with my son. And then after I had my son, I got back on it to lose the weight, my baby weight. So once you sign up, if you are interested, you'll have two different, I think there might be three options, but the two most popular are either digital or digital plus studio. If you choose the digital route, you will only have access to the app. Um, I think there's 24 seven coaching. 
I think that's available at, for all plans, but it is $19.95 a month. So for your weigh-ins, you would weigh in at home on your own scale. You would track it in your app and go that way. If you do the Digital Plus Studio, which is the one that I do, you have um, the the access to the app and you also have weekly meetings so I go to Saturday morning meetings currently with the pandemic and COVID and everything they are virtual right now once things start opening up more and they're more comfortable they'll move back to the in-studio meetings so if you choose to go in studio you can sign up in the studio or online you'll sit through your first meeting see how you like it and then um, the coach will always ask at the end if you if any of you are new please stay um, after and they'll go over everything that you need to know and answer any questions that you have to have they're super helpful um, the meetings are $44.95 I highly recommend them if you can afford it they are they keep me very accountable there's something about having to I did the online for the first three months of hang, having my son and I was successful but I think some of that had to do with the fact that it was postpartum um, but since going to meetings I've been able to keep that off and then some just because I feel like when you have to go into the studio, there's somebody there that's holding you. They're not holding you accountable. They're, there's never any judgment or anything like that, but I am better holding myself accountable when I know that I have to step on the scale in front of somebody and they can see if I have succeeded or failed that week. That's not the same for everybody. That's just what has worked for me. If you can afford it, and it's an amazing community, um, you'll find that on the WW Connect app. That's like the Facebook for Weight Watchers. But I love my group. I love my meeting. I look forward to going every week. Um, I always leave super motivated when I go. So if you can afford it, I would highly recommend it. Well, here in this little clip, I'm going to show you how the app works and what it, the features are on it. Um, so you guys have a little m bit more of an idea of what, um, how tracking works and things like that. Okay, so this is what the app looks like when you open it. This will be your main screen. There's my 23 points for the day and my 35 weeklies. I haven't put in my weeklies yet, but let me just go to the previous day and kind of show you. Um, so this is what the app looks like. You, you put in your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks. You can add your water in as well. Um, these are the blue dots that I was refer referencing in my one of my last videos. Um, if you go to this little gift button, um, they have wellness wins. Um, so if you track breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, that's why they switched it to my WW um, to make it more of a you know lifestyle instead of just weight loss. So when I track my breakfast, lunch, and dinner snacks, when I attend a meeting, um, when I get fit points, I get wins for those. So down here, um, this is where they do, the, my blue dots are. Um, so if I stay within my healthy eating zone, I will receive a blue dot for that day. Um, if I go back, let's see. Um, if you put in here, um, it does remember frequent things that you track um, for your um, meals. So um, for breakfast, I had, you know, my iced coffee. So that was two points. So I would swipe that. When you are out and about and you are looking for something to eat, you can scroll all the way down. They have restaurants, which... I'm pretty sure they have like every restaurant you could possibly think of. All of these restaurants to choose from. So many. Um, so if I click on like, let's see, Cracker Barrel. The lowest points foods are going to show up on there that are very Weight Watcher friendly. So they make it very easy to track your food while you are out and about. Um, you, there's also a list of zero-point foods, there's Weight Watcher snacks and tools, there's recipes that are featured in here. So they make it very easy for you to stay on point. This is the MyWW Connect. It is like the Facebook of Weight Watchers. People post their wins in here, they post their struggles. It's a amazing community. That is another reason that I chose to stay with Weight Watchers 
um, because I knew that the community was like nothing else. Um, so that is how the app works. If you have any other questions, oh, this is another big feature. Um, you can scan. So if you are first starting and you're trying to find out what's loan points, there is a barcode sc scanner and you can scan just about any food and it'll give you the point value for it. You can keep your recipes in here. You can also track your fit points. So any steps that you get, workouts, you can track them in here and through your Apple Watch or your Fitbit, you can sync up the two of them and they will, um, you will get fit points. You can swap your fit points for extra points, um, extra weeklies. I choose not to do that, but if you are somebody that um, gets a lot of fit points or you're very highly active and you need those extra points, those are there for you if you need them. The thing that I love about the app is um, with the Facebook, with the Weight Watchers Connect, there are, they have different types of groups for different types of people. So um, currently I am in a Weight Watchers Brides group, I'm in a New Moms group, and there's a St. Louis group because that's where I'm based out of. I love that feature on the app. When the COVID started and everything, I had a wedding scheduled for March 28th that I ended up having to cancel 13 days before. and. There's hundreds of other brides that were in that group that I was able to seek out advice to or with, um, see what they were doing in this situation, how they were planning on um, notifying their guests, um, if they were planning on postponing it at all, things like that. So um, that was a really nice feature. I love that I can resort to um, people that are going through the same thing that I was at the time. So that was a nice little feature that I liked. So once you hit your goal, you have six weeks of maintenance, you have to maintain your goal weight and you have to be between either above or below two pounds of your goal weight. So you have to maintain that for six weeks. Then after six weeks, you hit lifetime, which is a huge accomplishment. Um, and then once you hit lifetime, you have to weigh in once a month to be sure that you're within your goal weight range, which is two pounds. And then after that, everything is free. The app is free, the meetings are free. Um, as long as you stay within that weight range, um, everything is accessible to you. Obviously, if you hit above that, you have to start paying again, but um, that's a great feature as well. So I think that's all I have for you guys. If you have any other questions for me, please, please put them down in the comment section below and I would be more than happy to answer them for you. That's all for you guys. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I'm